this is why you never want to get lost in the woods. This story starts off with a birdwatcher named Kumi stumbling upon an injured hiker named Moriguchi. After getting taken to the hospital, the hospital staff is shocked to learn that Moriguchi survived on the forest floor for a month straight with only the snacks in his backpack. It seems like a miracle, but this is just a facade to hide the actual truth. Kumi decides to stay in the hospital with Moriguchi for his first night until he's woken up in the middle of the night by a gulping sound. On top of Moriguchi is a woman spitting something into his mouth. The woman gives Kumi a smile and walks out of the room like nothing happened. Moriguchi is forced to tell Kumi the truth, and that's the fact that after being injured for a couple days, suddenly a woman appeared before him. This woman would feed him raw flesh when he was hungry, and blood when he got thirsty. And being an injured and starving hiker in the woods, this was his only chance for survival. Kumi tries to catch the woman before she leaves the hospital, but she transforms into a bird and flies away. Moriguchi eventually heals and goes on his merry way until a couple years later when his body is found. And only a few days before his death, the raw flesh that he used to be fed was DNA tested, and the DNA was a match to Moriguchi himself. It's revealed that before his death, Moriguchi was being held captive by the bird for a month, but instead of feeding him, it kept ripping flesh off of his body. It turns out the bird was feeding past Moriguchi his future self to keep him alive, which I guess is the circle of life. 